How to make money with YouTube Shorts without making videos in 2021 using Amazon Affiliate Marketing. In this tutorial I'm going to break down for you in 6 actionable and simple steps how to monetize YouTube Shorts without AdSense and without actually making them the easiest and fastest way in 2021. And all of that for free from scratch and by using the immense power of Amazon as a marketplace. Step 1. Choose a profitable niche. Step 2. Find a viral video. Step 3. Create your YouTube short with a few clicks. Step 4. Upload your short on your YouTube channel. Step 5. Get your referral link. Step 6. Shorten your referral link. So pay close attention and leave a like guys. And this is Passive Income Revolution with another easy and free to use make money online method for you. If you want to learn more strategies, how to make money on YouTube without making videos, without showing your face with YouTube Shorts or with Cash Cow channels, subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. Plus, as a bonus guys, I'm going to show you at the end of this tutorial how to optimize the monetization process of your YouTube Shorts with a few simple SEO tricks in order to boost your chances of making even more money from them. So make sure you keep watching till the end guys. Alright, since I don't want to waste your time, and time is, as we know, money, let us dive straight into this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys. The make money online method I'm going to guide you through in this video is called YouTube Shorts Monetization. So if you're interested in monetizing shorts and making bank with them, make sure you take some notes and learn as much as you can from this video, because honestly, folks, YouTube Shorts are still a very new feature and in my humble opinion the best time for making money with them is still yet to come. Before I show you everything in detail though, uh, let me first outline in a few words what YouTube Shorts actually are and how they work. I suppose some of you guys already know what Shorts are and where to find them, but for those who are new to that awesome feature, here's a short overview for you. So. Simply go over to youtube.com, type in hashtag shorts in the search bar and select the top entry here. And as you can see, there have been published on YouTube already over 55 million shorts. And those numbers are growing day by day. This market is literally booming, so you better start uploading and, of course, monetizing shorts now, folks. Otherwise, you're going to miss out possibly a big opportunity to make easy money online. Okay, so here's the shortcut. YouTube Shorts are short, having up to 60 seconds in length video clips that pop up like mushrooms recently on YouTube under the viral hashtag Shorts. YouTube introduced this new format somewhere around, I remember it was somewhere last year's fall, and as I'm going to show you in a few seconds, guys, people are getting already incredible results with Shorts. With Shorts, they have uploaded just a few weeks or even days ago. This reminds me of the first month of Instagram and TikTok. Back in the days when those platforms were just starting to get grip online and content creators there were starting to go viral with their clips within a few days or weeks, the market was booming literally, experiencing such a huge growth in a short period of time yeah, good old days. Um, that's the power of the internet, I guess. The same is about to happen to YouTube Shorts and my recommendation for you would be to get the momentum, hop on that train and start building your own channels with viral shorts ASAP. And I'm going to show you how you can monetize those the best and easiest way. Now, let me show you some examples of results you can achieve with one or more of your viral shorts. Like, for instance, this one here, over 4 million views in one and a half week. Or that one here, 1 1.5 million views in eight days. Stunning results. And with what? With a short 31 seconds long clip of what? Of two influencers. I think those girls are influencers. Don't know to be honest, but uh, that doesn't matter for now. Uh, two girls performing simple dance moves or this one here, two and a half million views in a week with a simple gaming video. I have noticed gaming videos seem to be quite popular as shorts. Maybe you should start a gaming channel on YouTube and monetize your shorts in that niche. How about that? Nah, gaming videos are 
And that's my honest advice to you guys. A lot harder to monetize, especially without AdSense, than videos in other niches. Speaking of niches, so now that you have seen what numbers you can reach with your shorts in a short period of time, it is time for us to go over to step number one of this tutorial, which will be finding an appropriate niche for monetizing your YouTube shorts. Before we get to that though, don't forget to smash that little like button, folks, and to subscribe to this channel, of course. Also don't forget to check out my latest tutorial videos about making money with YouTube shorts, either by, for example, using the power of ClickBank, by selling your own merch, or by using a special technique I have called the 13 seconds rule. You will find some of my tutorials linked in the description box of this video. Check them out whenever you like us. Okay, here we go. Step number one, pick a profitable niche. The two main factors you need to consider when choosing a niche are as following. It's A, viability and B, doability. Well, when it comes to those two factors, here's my general advice for you. In theory, you can make money with videos in any niche. From my experience though, it would be best if you stick to niches with videos that are watched by people mainly for informational or educational, but not for entertainment purposes. Profitable niches like, for instance, traveling, self-development, motivation, weight loss, fitness or finance, just to name a handful of them. The reason for this is simple. It's easier to make money with videos in those niches because videos in those niches are watched by people mainly who are more likely willing to buy certain products or services. They are more likely willing to buy products or services because those people are already interested in solving a problem or in improving their life quality, health or financial situation when they come to YouTube to watch your short or your video or your content in general. That's why they come to YouTube in the first place and that's why it is easier to turn viewers into potential customers in one of those profitable niches than in niches that have primarily entertaining value for your audience, such as gaming, funny cats or pranks. If you know how, you can make money with YouTube videos or shorts in those niches as well, but it's much more complicated, I can tell you that. As of right now, I'd recommend you to pick one of the more profitable niches I have mentioned. You can pick any niche from that list you like, all of them perform pretty well. For the sake of this tutorial though, I'm going to monetize my YouTube short here in the fitness niche. People will always be interested in fitness, health and weight loss, so by uploading your content in that niche, you're never gonna run out of audience. Another good way to find profitable niches is to either use the search bar on YouTube and to type in there, for instance, how to start your search with how to and just browse through the entries to look up what people are interested in and what the most hot trending keywords are on YouTube. From there, you can niche down, go through the alphabet from A to Z and type in how to A and browse how to be and browse and go through the suggested entries and so forth and so on. You can apply that strategy also to your search on Google. It works pretty much the same way there. So, Or you can alternatively go over to Amazon and browse through the best selling products here to get some ideas what kind of products to promote and in what niche to upload your content of course. Just go to the Amazon top seller section there and type in, in the search bar for instance fitness and uh, you can niche down from there if you like for example fitness for dogs fitness books fitness equipment and so on and so forth and any suggested keyword here in the search bar is an indicator that people actually are looking for products related to that keyword or search term Amazon has millions of different products in any niche, so you will never run out of ideas for your videos or products to promote. Step number two, find a viral video. So assuming you want to upload your YouTube shorts and monetize them in the fitness or weight loss niche. Your next step is going to be to find a viral video you can use as an inspiration. To do that, simply go over to youtube.com and type in the search bar fitness hashtag shorts. 
to get some ideas for your own video. And just to show you what kind of results you can get in this specific niche, here, uh, this one here, new fitness challenge. This short has gathered so far over 82 million views in a few months. Or that one here, almost 230 million views with a short 18 seconds long fitness prank video. So as you can see, there is definitely a lot of virality potential if it comes to YouTube shorts and the fitness or workout niche. You can also dive a bit deeper and check out specific channels from those niches to get some more inspirations. For example, this channel here, and that girl here seems to build her channel entirely on shorts, which is also, besides monetizing shorts with the method I'm showing you right now, a very effective way to grow your channel and get huge traffic in a short period of time. Alright, let me demonstrate how you can create similar videos to those here, for free, from scratch and without standing in front of a camera. Step number three, create your YouTube short. Now, creating is not the best expression for that, simply because you will not be creating, making or recording anything. Instead, you will be using the power of a feature called Creative Commons License. Creative Commons licensed videos are clips you can find on YouTube that are allowed for reuse, meaning you can download and re-upload them on your channel or do whatever you like with them. All right, to find some CC licensed videos, I mean potentially viral videos, simply go over to youtube.com, type in fitness or fitness workout in the search bar and filter the search entries or search results by Creative Commons license, just like that. Now, you see a variety of different CC license clips related to fitness workout you can reuse for your shorts. Let's say you want to upload a fitness short for women. Women are beautiful and eye-catchy, as you know. And let me give you an advice here. Try to look for videos that look somehow authentic, genuine, and not, uh, I'd say, too much professionally made, you know what I mean? Like an ad or something like that with actors staring and all that stuff, because 99% of all shorts on YouTube are being made by simple folks who upload scenes they record in everyday life, you know? That typical uh, TikTokish or Instagramish style, I'd say. So let's search for some fine women doing workout exercises. Uh, let me scroll down here a bit and, uh, and now that one here looks pretty cool. Open the video and yeah, check what the video is about. And what I would recommend you to do as well is to check if the video has been indeed uploaded under a Creative Commons license or not. To do that, open the description box, scroll down to the bottom of it and check what kind of license this video here has got. If it is allowed for reuse, you're good to go. Now, copy the URL of that video and paste it into one of the many free-to-use YouTube to MP4 converters you can find online. I personally like to use this specific one here, so paste the URL up in here, click on convert to mp4 to download the video onto your computer. You can change the video quality if you want here. I usually leave it on mp4, but that, that's up to you guys. Alright, once your CC license video has been downloaded, I want you to go to a website called canva.com. And as I teach in many of my tutorials, Canva is absolutely free to use and also pretty beginner friendly. So my recommendation for you would be to sign up there now if you haven't done it yet. Once logged in, click on either TikTok video here or on your story or on Instagram story there. It doesn't matter which one of those you choose, just keep in mind that it has to be a resolution of 1080 by 1920 pixels because that's the best resolution for YouTube Shorts. Next, go to Uploads here on the left hand side, click on Upload Media and pick the device you want to upload your downloaded CC license video from. Wait for your video to be uploaded on Canva and once that's finished, drag and drop your clip onto the editing space here on the right. Uh, let me mute the sound of that video first and now uh, let me adjust the video a bit so that that girl is positioned in the center of the video, otherwise this video will simply look ridiculous. So let me adjust it a bit. Now that looks way better in my opinion. Now what I would recommend you to do is to A, cut out some parts of this video and B, 
compile two or three parts together into one short up to 15 or 20 seconds long compilation. The reason for this is shorts must not be longer than 60 seconds. And secondly, I can tell you from my own experience that shorter shorts ranging from 10 up to 20 seconds in length tend to get better results than longer shorts. Uh, don't ask me why, maybe it's just coincidental, but yeah, you can try it out yourself if you like. So to cut out different parts of this video or to trim it, simply go over to the trimming tool here in the top left corner and click on the scissor icon. So let's say I don't want the entirety of seven minutes of that video, but only some small parts of it. Let me adjust the sliders here a bit from the left and from the right as well. Come on, girl, show us some exercises. Let me find the best parts. Now, that move here looks nice. Take only a few seconds of that scene and trim it by clicking on Done here in the top right corner to save the progress. Uh, let me watch the preview. Yeah, that looks cool and hard to be honest as well. Now, if you like, you can leave it like that, but I personally would add also a second or even a third scene to the first one. To do that, click on add page here below your video and repeat the same process. But this time choosing another part of the video, of course. So uh, let me do that for you quick. Drag and drop. Mute, adjust, scissor icon, move the sliders, trim, click on done here. Okay, now that you have your short compilation edited, it's time to add a nice call to action to your video. To do that, go to the text toolbox here on the left hand side and pick a nice cool looking font for your call to action. For instance, this one here, some fonts on Canva are paid, some are free to use. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a free one. So drag and drop the text on your video, double click on it and enter a nice inviting text. For example, let's say you would like to promote a product from the fitness niche, for example, a fitness book for women or whatever you like. Then I'd say something like, for best, uh, let me change the size of the font a bit. For best fitness workout for women, check link or see link in description. Let me adjust the alignment and the position of the text and also change the color. And in this case here, I would put the call to action in the second part of the short right here. If you want, you can add also some animations for the text, but that's optional. So let me choose one. And once you're content with everything, watch the preview and click on download here in the top right corner to download your short onto your computer. Step number four, upload your short on your YouTube channel. Now, this one is pretty simple. Simply log in into your YouTube account, click on upload video here, and in the next window, you will need to add a nice title, description, and also some tags with as many niche-related strong keywords as possible. You can always look up what kind of keywords your competitors use in their titles and descriptions. No need to feel bad about that, guys. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Just let your competitors inspire you with that especially those with the highest and most viral videos in your niche, of course. Plus, you can always use the help of different research tools like VidIQ, for instance, to provide you with a lot of useful information about the most trending keywords within your niche. So for the sake of this tutorial, I would name that video here something like best fitness workout for women in 2021, vertical bar, ballerina, Calf challenge or something like that. I think that specific video we are using here is somewhat related to ballet, I, I remember. Now, 
Copy the title to your description box, but leave also some space open at the top of your description box, because that's where you're going to place your call to action. In your call to action, write something appealing like, I'd say, in capital letters, Best Fitness Workout for Women 2021 and add a nice emoticon, for example, a finger or a hand pointing. From websites such as Emojipedia or GetEmoji.com, you can add some emojis, if they suit the niche, to the title or the description as well. For example, uh, this one here. I wouldn't overload your title with them, though. Write a few nice sentences with even more strong niche-related keywords. Add also some strong keywords to your video tags, for example, fitness workout, fitness workout for women, ballerina challenge, female workout, and so on and so forth. You don't need to customize your thumbnails here. Just pick one of the preset default thumbnails, one that looks funny or eye-catchy, and you're good to go. And since you're using a CC license video, I would recommend you to upload your short under a CC license as well. Plus, if you like, you can also give credits to the content creator you have taken your video from. For example, write something like credits go to add the name of the channel owner or the original content creator and add also the link to her channel. It's not mandatory if you use CC license videos for your short, at least not in all cases, but it is a nice gesture. So I guess why not doing it? It doesn't hurt you. So before you publish your short though, you will need to get your referral link from Amazon first. Your referral link you will be making money with. Step number five, get your referral or promotional or affiliate link. Well, they have many names. For those who don't know what affiliate marketing is, affiliate marketing means you promote products from different online marketplaces or online stores, for example, via your website, your blog, your Instagram account or your YouTube channel, for example. And each time somebody buys a product or a service you promote via your promotional or referral link, you earn a commission from that, meaning <laughs> you simply get a slice of each sale. That's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. Now you can use different affiliate marketing websites for that method. I personally like to use clickbank.com for many of my affiliate campaigns. Amazon though is a marketplace with immense traffic power and I would be totally nuts if I didn't use their traffic power for affiliate marketing. Amazon has literally millions and millions of different products. So if you decided to use that for your advantage and promote some Amazon products from the fitness niche, for example, via your short, simply go over to Amazon Associates, sign up there. It's 100% free to use. And once you have made it through the registration process, which takes only two minutes in maximum, I'd say, you can start building affiliate campaigns with the help of Amazon. Well, to be honest with you, there is nothing much to build. Simply go over to Amazon.com and look for a suitable product you would like to promote via your short. I think in this case here, the best solution would be to promote some kind of a fitness book or fitness related product or a fitness course, something like that, mainly for women. So go over to Amazon and type in in the search bar, for example, fitness books for women or something similar. Browse through the different offers and pick a book that looks somehow, I don't know, that one, that one here, for instance, looks cool. Open it in a new tab to get some more information about it. Keep an eye on the ratings. If the product has at least four up to five stars, you can be pretty much sure customers seem to love or at least like the product. You can go through the reviews as well and read through them a bit if you like. So yeah, I guess why not promoting this one here since it seems to be quite popular. Now copy the ASIN of the product you want to promote. In this case, since this is a book, you can also take the ISBN from the product information. 
go back to your Amazon Associates accounts and there to the product linking section and paste the ISBN or ASIN here. Next, click on get link there on the right hand side to get your referral link. And that's it. Step number six, shorten your referral link or promotional link or affiliate link. <laughs> now, as you can see, this long affiliate link here looks somehow awful and uh, repulsive. So to change that, I would recommend you to shorten it as good as you can. You can either use the shortening plugin here on Amazon by clicking on shorten URL with Amazon. Now, let me do that for you for demonstration purposes. Or you can copy the unshortened original link and shorten it with a link shortening service such as bit.ly.com. I personally prefer the second option because I like to customize my shortened links and give them suitable cool names. So uh, let me show you how you can do that for free. Bitly is 100% free to use. So once you have signed up there, log in into your account, click on create here, copy and paste your Amazon referral link here and give the back half of it a cool name. For example, again, in capital letters, best dash workout dash for dash women or something like that in capital letters always and be creative try to give it a catchy cool looking welcoming and appealing name click on save once you're finished copy and paste your shortened and customized referral link and paste it next to your call to action below your youtube short in the description box you know and that's all the magic behind this method guys now you can publish your short and start making money with it. Now, as a bonus, let me give you a few advices and tips how to boost your chances to go viral with one or more of your shorts and how to milk them as much as possible. If you want to succeed with your shorts in a long-term perspective and make as much money from them as possible, you will need to A, always upload consistently and not just stop after your first second, fifth or tenth upload. B, take good care of your videos SEO, meaning write proper titles, descriptions and use tags with as many strong niche related long tail keywords as you can. C, customize and shorten your referral links to make them look even more appealing to your audience and potential customers. And D, try to stick to something I'd call uh, 13 second rule, I'd say, meaning the shorter your shorts or short compilations are, the more effective they will probably be. Now, I can guarantee that uh, because that information is based on my very own observations, but you should definitely try that out yourself and yeah, just look how it worked out for you guys. All right, guys, that was my step-by-step -step tutorial how to make money with YouTube shorts without making videos with Amazon affiliate marketing. If you want to learn more strategies how to make money on YouTube without showing your face, check out my other tutorials and cash cow niche recommendations for 2021 on this channel. Subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads here. Leave a like and tell me in the comments down below which method of making money with YouTube Shorts you would like me to break down for you in my upcoming tutorials. Stay tuned and see you next time.